I know it's early, trust me. I know it's early. But you can do better than that. There's hundreds of you. I said good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yeah, man, that's a little bit better. Right. <laughs> Something different for you this morning. We are from BA Systems and the RAF, and we are here today to do a show for you. As I said, all about science, design, technology, and engineering. <laughs> What's that? The pound shop, latest version of an MP3 player? <laughs> Who are you listening to? Radio waves. Radio? At this time of the morning, there'd be nothing on! No, not that type of radio. I'm listening to different frequencies. I'm listening to cosmic signals from outer space. You've heard of Georgia Bank, right? Yeah, that's that big satellite dish in Cheshire, isn't it? No. It's not a satellite dish, it's a radio telescope. And it picks up radio waves from deep space. Uh, Hello, mate. Good. Hi, right, boss. Here we go. Sergeant Dave Shannon from Royal Air Force. And I happen to be an expert in flight technology. So, oh, cool. Do you want to get to my uh, plane? Oh, oh, what are you doing? Oh. Right, I'll show you how it can draw oh, this. Easy. So, as you can see, it's got a camera that faces forwards and there's also one that faces downwards. Imagine if there was such a thing as an invisibility cloak, though. <gasps> you could go anywhere undetected. There is, I've seen it on YouTube. That's just tricks. It's all magic. There's no such thing. As tricks and magic I've told you before. It's all done by using advanced technology. What about the infrared spectrum? The what? Infrared cameras. I mean, they pick up people's body heat, don't they? I mean, you could be running in the middle of the night and hide in a shed and those infrared cameras would see you. So what I've got here is a small infrared camera. Right. Now, an infrared camera works by being able to tell the difference between different temperatures of different things in the room. So, so it's a wave. Right. When a helicopter lands or takes off, the downdraft of wind is created from the rotor blades kicks up all the sand, all the dust, and the pilot can't see anything. A bit like a, a sandstorm. Yeah, a bit like a sandstorm. Now, that's dangerous for pilots because they use what are called visual reference points and also the horizon to try and land a helicopter. So not being able to see anything is exceptionally dangerous conditions for him and her to land their aircraft. And I'm not using any of the controls, the helicopter is following up of its own accord. A bit like, say, if we were trying to do search and rescue and take someone who was sick or injured off uh, a ship in the sea. Um, wear a body wearable antenna is different to what we call a normal conventional whip antenna, so called it's like a big stick that sticks out your radio and it's really easy to see and can be a bit difficult to move with. A body wearable antenna. All the antenna parts are woven into the fabric in the soldier's uniform. Well, we've been VA Systems and the RAF, you've been brilliant this morning. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you. You look now are going to get the chance to become engineers. You will have a laptop and a little car. What we want you to do is program that little car from your laptop to go around the track that's in front of you.